Over the past decades, large-scale monocultures of soy and oil palm have seen an unprecedented growth. This has given a positive impulse to the exports and economies of producing countries, but has also led to negative impacts such as deforestation, contributions to climate change and social conflict. Los principales impactos negativos de la, del cultivo de la soja en la Argentina tienen que ver, bueno, en primer lugar, con la, la reducción importante de la diversidad productiva del, del país. 20 de las 30 millones de hectáreas de agricultura intensiva están concentradas en, en la producción de soja. I think there is a two main problem in Indonesia regarding the oil palm, oil palm plantation expansion. Firstly, it's a deforestation and has disaster yeah, in relation with the environmental degradation. And the second main problem in Indonesia is uh, land grabbing and social conflict. Of course, there is a criminalization also of the communities by, uh, uh, by oil palm company. The negative impacts have triggered civil society organizations to push and at times cooperate with the private sector and government to improve legislation, promote responsible land use and set up certification mechanisms like RTRS and RSPO to work towards making the supply chain more responsible. In general perspective, there is positive, but there is limitation on the RSPO. RSPO can effective uh, in terms of the improvement of the practice of the company. Yeah, but the RSPO will be more difficult to to really contribute contribution to improve the current situations if there is no improvement on the government's policy. Well, uh, RTRS today is the best tool in, of its kind and very useful to include environmental sustainability criteria in the soy production. Um, however, uh, the implementation is processing, uh, progressing very slow. Some facts and figures. In 2013, worldwide, 18% of palm oil and 2% of soy were certified. The uptake of certified products actually remains too low. Of the certified palm oil, for example, only 50% is actually taken up by the market, clearly indicating that even at low levels of production, it exceeds demand. É preciso oferecer é, atrativos para esses produtores. E um atrativo importante poderia vir do fato de que eles precisariam dessa certificação para poder prosseguir exportando para a Europa a soja, por exemplo. The Netherlands have committed themselves to 100% certified soy and palm oil in 2015. A great commitment, but what are the actual numbers? In 2013, 61% of Dutch palm oil consumption was RSPO certified and 25% of the 2.4 million tonne of soy that is used and processed into food and feed in the Netherlands was certified. Why is the process lagging behind? Even though some companies have made good progress to attain 100%, others tend to choose for the cheapest options or are not moving at all. Now let's do a counting exercise. How much more would the consumer have to pay if we use feed with RTRS certified soy? per kilo of cheese, per kilo of meat, per egg. These are very low additional costs. Can these costs not be borne in the value chain? The countries like the Netherlands with this kind of strong commitments are very important for um, setting a clear objective. And it's very important that now the Netherlands stick to this objective and keep on its promise. We think uh, European countries uh, have to take the lead and, uh, and push for a higher demand for RTRS certified soy. And, uh, and for sure avoid other standards that are weaker. We should push harder for the uptake of certified soy and palm oil in Europe and beyond.
However, it is also clear that there are still inherent problems with the implementation, and even when these are solved, certification alone will not be the solution. More supportive policy is needed to address the social and environmental problems and making headway on land use decisions, on implementation of laws and regulations, and finally on farmers and companies' behaviour for palm oil and soy production to become more responsible. Los cambios asociados con la expansión de la soja en Argentina han sido tremendamente rápidos. Sin embargo, los cambios vinculados con la preservación de los ambientes que son impactados por la soja, este, por el contrario, han sido tremendamente lentos y hoy nos encontramos este, frente a una situación de sistemas altamente impactados, pero con un esfuerzo de conservación eh, considerablemente bajo. Thus, a rasp of breath to suspend the membership of oil companies who proof burn the land or burn the forest. We are called to the government to moratorium of the expansion of oil palm plantations. Through the moratorium, that is time for the government to, to, to review the existing plantations and to, to improve the current situations through law enforcement and also in, improve the, the practice in oil palm plantations management. O que é preciso para resolver esse problema é, é, é uma questão em primeiro lugar doméstica, que seria o zoneamento do território brasileiro em termos do que se pode produzir e aonde, ou seja, em que área se pode produzir soja de uma maneira que, que reduza a pressão sobre os recursos ambientais, e sobre a população, sobre a produção de alimentos diversificados. I think it will be important for um, the countries that produce the soy and the countries that buy the, uh, our soy to uh, have a complete understanding of the, the, the problems and to make um, um, an effort to uh, promote uh, certification, to make the, the certification more um, important in terms of the quantity and also more effective in terms of the area that it covers. Every party uh, the, in the whole supply chain or the production chain of the palm oil production should take responsibility equally. The company, the government of Indonesia, and also the government where the product is being delivered to, uh, as well as the financiers who uh, who invest their uh, money to certain projects. RSPO or certification is a one step uh, forward, but then it's not enough because first, uh, many of the companies that already get the certificate, uh, some of them are not compliant. It should be more mandatory uh, and also should be should have a legal consequence if uh, the the company or the parties fail to fulfill their uh, commitments. So the government role is very important here. How the government in Indonesia and also in the importing countries also have strict regulation to uh, make the palm oil produce sustainable and not creating social problems. The Ecosystem Alliance and its expert partners on soy and palm oil from producing countries call upon government and private sector to jointly address the following issues. Support and implement high quality certification, such as RSPO and RTRS, and integrate these sustainability principles and criteria into Dutch and European policy and legislation. Improve transparency, traceability and independent monitoring of agro-commodity value chains. Improve financial instruments and mechanisms to promote and support sustainability throughout the agro-commodity value chain. As NGOs from consuming and producing countries of soy and palm oil, we commit to help implement these recommendations and provide our professional networks, knowledge and tools to support the actions called for.
I think in the Netherlands we have made uh, good steps with the private sector, government, private sector, NGOs, uh, to make sure that uh, more sustainable soy and more sustainable palm oil is used, but we need to do better. Additional effort is needed in producing and consuming countries to bring about positive change in the landscapes and value chains of soy, palm oil and other agro-commodities.